my name is Andre Kuipers. I'm an astronaut for the European Space Agency. I was born in the Netherlands in Amsterdam and uh, educated as a medical doctor and worked in the space business for a long time and I'm very pleased to be here for the second time in the International Space Station and to work with this international team. Off, lift off of the Soyuz 29 spacecraft that is taking Don Pettit, Oleg Kononenko, and Andre Kuipers to the International Space Station. of the uh, vehicle has now separated. The three crew members uh, shaking hands in congratulations of a successful launch into orbit. Docking probe into alignment with the docking target. Now just seven meters away from docking, standing by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. Last on board, European Space Agency's flight engineer, Andre Kuipers. We're happy to say that there are six of us on board the International Space Station again. Fantastic uh, international team here, and uh, uh, doing a great adventure, and uh, uh, we can do a lot of good work here. Yeah, one of the nice things of being an astronaut is that you do science in a lot of different fields. So it could be that one morning I do, for example, a biology experiment. Then in the afternoon I might be doing a technology experiment um, or, or a fluid physics experiment. So we have all kind of different ones that and, and uh, I can do specific research because of the fact that we don't have uh, weight here. So th those aspects are being tested here and have their applications on the ground. Says we are pushing the boundary of uh, of science in space. That is that is clear, uh, both in fundamental as in applied research. And in the meantime, 200 investigations have been taking place, uh, which is about 1,000 scientists that have been on board of the space station uh, to to do their research. Uh, I myself am busy now with something like 50 different experiments uh, on 30 facilities over the course of uh, of the mission of half a year.
하지마 줄게요 Séparation à DV3, Eduardo Amalek. ATV is a fantastic vehicle, totally automatic. Uh, and you train for the situation that you have to react to uh, a malfunction. Uh, and especially uh, when the automatic system uh, didn't uh, correct it and the ground didn't correct it. Uh, then the crew is uh, the final responsible. So therefore we are fully trained and very sharp on the last part of the approach. ATV uh, is now part of the base family. It makes the station now uh, a lot bigger. It's, uh, it's a really nice uh, extra module. Uh, very uh, quiet and roomy, very nice place for the crew to be. And uh, so from Columbus at the beginning of the station till ATV at the end of the station, uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, European uh, activity going on. It brings a lot of uh, good uh, materials, a lot of things that we can use for the space station, of course, uh, for the crew. Uh, but uh, very important, it, it brings four tons of fuel. And this fuel is needed to reboost the space station. So every day we sink 50 to 100 meters a bit. And, space in, uh, and the station needs a little reboost now and then. And ATV has a, a great role in that. Good afternoon everybody in the uh, United Kingdom and uh, Guten Tag, alle Leute in uh, Deutschland and uh, hello Nederland uh, e hola España. I am very pleased uh, to have you all here in this weightless environment and uh, uh, it's fantastic. I'm here in the Columbus module. This is a unique place for, uh, for science. the start of uh, Mission X and I'm very pleased to, to start this off. of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket as NASA turns to the private sector to resupply the International Space Station. Yeah, one of the highlights of the mission was of course uh, the, the visit of uh, Dragon from SpaceX. This was uh, the start of a new era. Uh, it was the first commercial spaceship uh, to, uh, to dock to the space station and uh, it was a robotic tasks uh, but also it was a combination of uh, a real docking but also a demo flight. So the first part uh, was to demonstrate that Dragon would uh, say listen to the commands from ground and from, uh, from the space station. So I had uh, say a dashboard in front of me with all the uh, command buttons. Uh, and uh, it was a great feeling to, to pull it in and dock it uh, to the station. So I'm very pleased with a lot of people on the ground that, uh, that it went so smooth. It was real good teamwork with the people in uh, Los Angeles or SpaceX, Houston uh, and, um, and uh, the astronauts on board. Now we have physical separation. Unit, we have physical separation. Undocking confirmed at 11:47 and 50 seconds p.m. Central Time.
so far so good. Uh, it looks like uh, the Soyuz vehicle is headed for an on-target bullseye landing, a landing site in a very desolate area of southeast Kazakhstan. Touchdown, 314 and 48 seconds AM Central Time. European Space Agency uh, flight engineer Andre Kuipers now out of the uh, Soyuz vehicles. Kuipers uh, being helped down that slide uh, and will be carried now to that uh, reclining chair. Kuipers uh, back on Earth, his second flight in the books, 204 days in space on two missions for Andre Kuipers. I feel first of all great that uh, the, the mission was a great success and we landed uh, uh, nominally so that is very nice so that is, uh, I'm pleased but I uh, I really physically feel much worse than the first flight <laughs> so it, it will take a long time to recover.